What's up? 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 It's funny because when I'm asked that question, the first thing that comes to mind is the freaking name of the project, Summer Summertime, Vibes. Summer Vibes? Summer, summer vibes. vibes. Just straight Summer Vibes. Um, it has a island meets hip hop fusion type of thing going on there. Then I think I actually love it because when I think, I tell you my perfect day in Toronto is a Toronto day with a, you know, a little yeah, yeah, yeah. culture of. You're going to hear some steel pens. You're going to hear, yeah, it's that's what makes things. That's what makes things unique is that type of song you say the steel pan and i think the whole just i think just the whole culture mm -hmm. of the islands but summer vibes yes i even have an artist song out in jamaica that's uh featured on featured yeah. who's this artist his name is mighty one mighty one big up mighty one jamaican artist for doing the features those cross promotions are what gets us to go very far very very far is the cross promotions that gets us to go in that direction yes Sure, because I haven't even met him, and that's the great thing about social media. <laughs> so you see where I'm telling people, in today's day and age, she did a song with someone she never met. And you see how beautiful the internet could be when used properly. It's yeah. not just for making mem memes now. <laughs> You're right? No, gotta make use of it in the right way. Um, summer vibes. What come to, what, what's your favorite thing about summer? The hot sun. I don't like being cold. The cold makes me very, 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 very miserable. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone summarized me. I would, I would definitely go with um. I think yeah, sun, relaxation. I think free time. I think people are happier in the sun. People are definitely happier in. The people summer. are happier in July than they are in January. A Facts. I think I would want to do a study. People like to do studies. Let's do a study on that. Where are more? I don't think we need too much studying for that one. <laughs> I think that'll be a very quick answer. People do studies for everything. <laughs> I want to study on that. <laughs> But yeah, um, I like the fact that I feel like music's even louder in the summertime. Yes, and I think we get a different style of, of, of music that we wouldn't more necessarily upbeat. get. More upbeat, more 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 energy. Yeah. What did um what inspired you to do music in general? In general, um I'm actually originally a hip hop dancer. Okay. So I was dancing from yay, like young so like three four years old oh for real yeah so i was always on stages performing and That's music obviously dope. was a huge part of dancing so it just went from dancing to realizing i can kind of sing and then turn into writing and that came very easily to me and it just went from there yeah and i think the fact that you could write someone that could write music they're in a different category than someone that's just an entertainer. I agree. Because as you see, she's not just eye candy that someone says, hey, I'm going to write a song for you. You just perform it. I told people, I, I don't have a problem with those people either. It's just that when those people no longer get someone writing songs for them, they kind of are in a difficult position. So yeah. the fact that you say you could come up with your own creativity and your for own sure. songs. And I also find people feel the songs more when they find... I agree. The person writes them, yeah. Because <laughs> I feel like when people do listen to my music, um, uh response that I do get is that I'm saying something. 
and soft substance, something substance. they could. Yeah, yeah that's, that's like what the I'm word reading. of today is substance. Okay, guys, the word of today is substance. <laughs> Try to actually when you, you know you listen to a four minute song and you don't remember nothing you just heard, but you just listen to a four minute song. Trust me, on my way here, I listened to. I don't even know if I want to say that. Who's on your playlist? I don't even want to say that. That's what we're going to ask. No, 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 no. Who's on your playlist? My playlist is very all over the place. It could go from Michael Jackson to like... Which Toronto artist is in your playlist? Toronto artist, I have... um, Of course, I have my girl Keisha Fresh on there. Okay, okay, okay. Shouts out. The sorority tracks on there. Havaya Mighty. Shouts out. You know, um... I have uh, some Casper in there. Me and him are actually going to be working on something, so stay tuned for that. (laughs) That's going to be some... Casper, I'm telling you. Some real... um, I think Toronto's really going in a good direction musically right now. We're really going in a positive, upward vibe. I think the whole city of Toronto is going through something we never really experienced before in the sense of winning a championship, music, like Mm -hmm. artists that are going places getting signed i think you we're know we even have models right yeah we, we have models getting signed like we're making noise, noise. i think we're, we're we're a city where we put in a lot of work and now we're finally reaping the benefits of our work For sure even even actors like i have a few friends that are like doing big things in that we know, have like, a shout out scarborough you know him i heard of stefan james he did um black actor yeah black actor he did, he did a couple different movies he was the main character i think he's from movies. he's from he was on um, this new show with Santa Lathan. Um, Samaya. So, so, I always say her name wrong. <laughs> you, you, you good, because I didn't know the difference, so, you I know. I messed up my baby cake's name, though. Sorry. <laughs> I got the top five, eh? <laughs> Come on, son. Um, what was that new show called? I forget, but it was like a cop show. Oh, yeah, I think. And Home Again. That Definitely. I think he's the same one that hails from Scarborough. Scarborough will be producing a lot of actors, yeah. man. He's, he's a real notable Canadian black actor. When you see when you see big movies in um, in Canada or filming in Toronto, mm-hmm. like they, there's a li- there's a list of black actors that are notable that they will draw for. Yeah, you know he was I mean? in Selma. Yes, he was. Um, he was in Four Brothers. Yeah, Jeez. you know what I'm saying. He's, he's, done done a, he's the done same. No frills as us. No, no, no. no. Oh, okay, <laughs> I, you know what? He's that's my intro. that's my Toronto thing, you know. When I ask, they shop at the same. No he frills was as us. Pickering. For a little bit, yeah, you shop at Metro and uh, uh, 14. Uh, 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 yeah, I was, uh, he used to be on, he was, he was on Degrassi at one point as well. Yes, he was. Yeah. I remember that Shout out to Degrassi. A lot of the cast members doing very well. Well, not a lot, just two thus far, but we're Disgust. getting there. Said not lying, just two. <laughs> All right, we're working there. Fun fact <laughs> Did you know that Degrassi was, they tried to buy them out back in the days to bring Degrassi to Hollywood, and Canadians wouldn't sell it. And they created 902 and 0. Shut up. Off of the grass. Wow. Really? Info. Interesting. Fun fact. Plot twist. Wow. Interesting. But it just shows you, as in Canadian music and the culture, what do you hope to bring to the culture of music in general? I honestly hope to bring a sense of uniqueness and just something different. I'm not, I don't think I fit in the category of what's really necessarily popping right now because I don't really do the music where it's like, pop that pussy in. <laughs> yeah, you find, that's why I can respect that because it's so much easier. You identify with, hey, it's so easy for me to over sexualize myself, over glorify certain things just to sell, yeah. to make clickbait. Versus that's saying not something really me. Like I can be sexy. Don't get it twisted. And I can like get a little raunchy here and there. Like I'm not no saint with my lyrics, but I'm not per se like really glorifying what music's glorifying right now. Exactly. And I, yeah, <laughs> I think music when music is going in a direction where I think I would assume for female um, music going left, man. <laughs> it's going left. Like I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just tell people sometimes you feel a little weird. You don't want to sing the lyrics of these girl songs because that's what I was gonna tell you before. I was sitting in the car and I listened to like three tracks in a row, and my I literally felt like I needed to go to church after because I just felt like as a woman I was like, oh my gosh. Shout like, out city girls. It was. I didn't want to say it, but like shout out city girls. It was. It was, it was city girls who I was bar. listening to. They're pushing the bar. And I was listening to it, and I'm like, okay, I'm like, I mean, like, it sounds cool, it sounds dope, but, it, like, 
when I was actually paying attention to what they're saying, I was like, oh my God, this is a whole other life than I do not live. <laughs> so I, I, I think that's why I'm pushing the envelope. A lot of people push the envelope. For sure. Just to get attention, but it's so much easier for you now to be an artist and not have to do the same thing. Yeah, and I just want to bring that back. Like, I want to bring natural, real talent back and just... And we all here for that organic. You know? Um, real in this new society doesn't exist it's it, no it exists but you're gonna lose <laughs> you wanna you wanna like be a good person and you know do on t the golden rule right now you're gonna lose because like it's like the ethics is out the window yeah it's get it however you can get yep. it and when you're rich you'll be respected yeah for sure but now that's winning. why i pose another question with you mm -hmm. As a female, yeah, I like to ask this question: Do you find a male could be attractive, like a J Cole? But J Cole's already famous; he's already has so much notoriety and so mm -hmm. much. You know, J Cole's already a worldwide person. Could someone regular be a J Cole and step to you? I ride my bike around the city. I take the bus. Like that looks like him. Are we talking about like just physical well, if, or? Well, J. Cole light skin, so he gonna <laughs> J. Cole light skin, so he's gonna he's gonna, he gonna, he gonna get true. But I'm saying personality wise, J. Cole's very simple. Yeah, I actually tend to talk to simple guys. I don't talk to the flashy. I don't. That's why I mean, like the way music is going, like what girls speak about. Those aren't really necessarily the things that I go after. Amazing. I don't do the flashy chains and the. You know what I mean? I, Amazing, that's never really amazing. been my type, so a simple guy could definitely suck to me. And that's why I always try to think of substance. I think um, we have we brought up city girls, and I think a lot of girls feel peer pressure because they're the success ones. Nobody's gonna marry themselves after someone that's non-successful. But for you to look at that path and say that's not the path I want to go, and yeah, say I'm gonna and try that's to. That's another thing: is what is success? That's a question. What is success to you? To me, honestly, success is living and doing what I love the most. <laughs> as and long as you I'm, can, you can, I'm you, you loving can't argue that. how I'm living or I, I'm loving what I'm doing, to me, I'm successful. Yeah, I think that's what I'm... Like, if I reached my goals, my own personal... I think success is, comes in so many different ways. Like, someone who works a regular job but has his wife and his three children, to him, I'm the most successful man in the world. Like, I that's can provide real. for my family. I have all my family and I'm great. I'm successful. But somebody else could look at you and be like, no, nah, you a bum. You need money. You need the cars. You need, and that's what to them is successful. So. And I always say like to each his own, everybody's, you know, path is and walk of life is going to be totally different. And that's what I always have to try For to sure. remind people that is nobody we could be same age and live in the same place, but our walk of life is two different walks of life. And that's what Everyone I always try to remind people timing. that. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Black and beautiful. And we're black. So, overall, with the project you dropped, Summertime Vibes, mm -hmm. what else is on the up and coming way for you? I know you have your listening party this upcoming Sunday, but other than that, what else is on the horizon for you? I have a couple shows that I'm booked for. Let um, us know. Get these dates out there. Let us know. Okay, on June 20, no, they postponed that one. On June 30th, I'm performing at the Woe Hair Expo. The Woe Hair Expo. So Shout that'll be out. really dope. It's going to be like Shout a fashion out. show. Hair stuff, beauty stuff, fashion stuff. So, you know. Always supporting for the culture. Always sure. supporting for the culture. Um, what else I got? Um... I'm performing at UFT. UFT, ah, ah, ah. They're love having, the college tours. Yeah, that's you know, I love the college tours. Gotta get in with the college stuff. So I'm um, performing at UFT. The date is, that was the one that was postponed. So You'll the date will be uh, announced. As soon as, as, soon as she lets <laughs> us know, we're going to let y'all know. Yes. TVA. TVA. To be announced. Right now, I think I'm being booked at Aquario Beach House in Ajax. Not Ajax, Pickering. Where, where? The, out, the outdoor... The that's outdoor indoor pool. that you can't smoke at that's outdoor oh can't smoke this guy had a like we ain't gonna bring that <laughs> oh you had a bad experience eh? it's the people's venue you can't smoke in the people's venue oh, we're gonna can, leave it at they can put a fence outside <laughs> and tell you that's a smoking area this guy stop it right now <laughs> this guy has a scarred heart, I promise. <laughs> you, hit, you hit record on this shit. Listen, that's all, that's all it takes, though, is one bad experience or, like, mm -hmm. one bad first impression, and it's just, like, downhill from there. And I think um, the fact that you're doing shows and you just dropped your project, 
what is it um what platforms is your is your project on like on all streaming platforms or yeah it's everywhere okay perfect because i'm gonna let you know i can't afford half of them so as long as i can <laughs> it's everywhere it's everywhere i got we always like hey 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 Shout, if you on YouTube, I have a lot of love for you. you know, cause some people, it, it's on YouTube ah, too. Love, love, it's love, on love, YouTube. love, it's love, 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 <laughs> love. I always tell people. So, so, anything else on the horizon with you? Like, either in the shows, the projects. We know um, what, find what do you want? What are you gonna do, or what do you feel like doing? That, like away from music. Away from music. Yeah. I actually was just talking to somebody the other day. I want to get into mo- motivational speaking. I have a lot to say and a lot of opinions and That's my I've been old, through a lot. My old job. Yeah. So I've been through a lot and like I just feel like I have a great story to share and tell and people can be motivated by it. So if I can do that, that'd be great. For real, for real, for real. Motivational speaking is always key because I tell people mental health is something that huge we truly do not speak enough about, but it's something that we all go through. Yeah. And motivational speaking is one of the stepping stones of someone sharing a story with you and maybe that can help you get get you through something. For sure, because even through my journey already, I've gotten like paragraphs from people saying like I've helped them through certain times or like when they think of me, they think like, okay, there's been worse or like I could do it, she could do it, I could do it. And like just getting those type of responses, it also makes me like really want to get into that type of thing. Because if I could do that just for the few people that are following me right now, imagine what I could do to the masses. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like that's beautiful, man. Like when you come with that mentality, I can always say, and in your music, it, it really does reflect in your music the way you like you the passion and the fact that you know you care. That really reflects in the sound. So, I'm glad it does. Star status, man. Like, just bang out all your social media right now. Roll out. Okay. <laughs> My Instagram is at its.starstatus. Uh. Facebook, type in Star Status Music. Uh. SoundCloud, Star Status Music. Uh. Twitter, it's underscore Star Status. Uh, 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 and uh. to find my music, just, uh, you know what? No just, Snapchat? Oh, yeah. Snapchat. This <laughs> guy, like, who's. I don't have Snap, so I, I... I have Snap, but like I always kind of question if I want to give it out or if I don't, like... Okay. But, no, I'll give it out. I'm very... <laughs> honestly, I'm a very personable person, and I don't mind sharing me with everybody else who listens to my music. I don't really care. So, uh, my Snapchat is at its underscore star status. <laughs> Lucky <laughs> guess! It would have been easy to find. <laughs> Lucky guess. Uh, Shouts out star status. And thank you so much for pulling up on What's Poppin' Wednesdays. Much love and respect. Thanks for having y'all me. Y'all make sure y'all go look out for summertime vibes, man. Yeah. Go catch that. <laughs> go peep that. Love. Hold on. What's your what's your calling card? Like, you know, Cardi got... And your Jada Kiss got... Yeah, what's yours? Huh, I don't even know if I figured that out yet, you know. I was Yo, always kind of Don't going... listen to this guy's questions. Like these are the questions he asked. That's like, are you serious, bro? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, I am serious, but it's I've funny, just so always been I'm known not... for a hair yeah. flip. That's pretty That's, much it. They got a hair flip. The hair flip. Oh, it's a hair flip? The I was always flip. I don't know. She's a baddie with no tails, you guys. Exactly. Know. You know she's a baddie with no tails. <laughs> Go and type in star status and baddie with no tails. That's I that I like that song. Still. So you don't know. Shout out, me, him, them, Mr. Jessup, you done know. Wow. Yeah. Yo. I'm in a time where bitches ain't shit and niggas be nothing, but they still look lit. Posing for the gram and on the snap be stunting. Got a gun, but if it pop, they the same one running. Girl, sneak this and I should say it with your chest. How you think that you popping when you scared of the best? Stop hyping up, take a seat, take a rest. No matter how you try, I'm more or less, bitch. Hmm. <laughs>